yo, it's your boy Michelle Guapo, man. Street certified news. We back with another one. Shout out everybody, man, who, you know what I'm saying, hit me up about uh, our last doc. You know what I'm saying? We did a doc on the Hobo Street Gang. And part one was really like the background. And like, you know, they were kind of like their reign. And then part two, uh, we talked about, man, their appeal. And how during their appeal, man, it really came out that a lot of people inside their gang, outside their gang, enemies of their gang, a lot of people, you know, took the stand, made statements and snitched on the hobos, man, got them up out of there. If you haven't seen that video, man, go check out the hobos doc, man, parts one and parts two, man. Um, we got a lot of good feedback from it. We may drop a part three. Uh, we not gonna do it right now. We gotta, you know what I'm saying? Put it all together, you know what I'm saying? Make the play right. Go check that out if you ain't checked it out. This week, man, uh, we got into the boy Lil J, man. You know what I'm saying? It's been a lot of stuff going on with Lil J. Um, he came home from jail last year. He was doing his thing. Then he ran right back to jail. Um, you know, there's been all these videos coming out, jail videos of, of, of Lil J and, and, and different situations. You know what I'm saying? We're going to address that later on in the video. And I think, uh, you know, the deeper message in this whole thing that gets lost, you know, while people is clowning on Lil J and laughing at Lil J and now Lil J is, you know, uh, uh, blogging and YouTube and himself and stuff, man. I think the thing that really get lost in this is that, man, Lil J at one point, man, had a very promising rap career. At one point, people consider, you know, Lil J up there with like a dude like uh, Lil Dirt or Chief Keef, you know what I'm saying? He was he was that level, you know what I'm saying? There was a point in time where he was bigger than FBG Duck. This week's story, how can Lil J destroy his rap career? Let's get right into it. On June 9th, 2023, U.S. Attorney Morris Pascal filed an emergency motion to revoke King Lil J's release order. Only a year earlier, the rapper was arrested with a firearm during a domestic dispute with his then-girlfriend. U.S. Attorney Pascal believed that the rapper was a danger to society and electronic monitoring was insufficient while awaiting his case on federal gun charges. King Lil J was born Jeff McGraw, November 12, 1993, in Chicago, Illinois. Coming up during the first drill wave, Lil J would serve as the spokesperson for the other side, FBG Brick Squad, and then later JoJo World. In 2015, at the height of his rap success, King Lil J would be convicted of reckless discharge of a firearm and sentenced to two years probation. Only six weeks later, McGraw would be arrested for a murder charge when he and a group of friends, which included fellow FBG member at the time, Butter, attempted to rob a drug dealer, and a person in their group, Phil Monrenzin, was shot and killed. The police would later find that the drug dealer acted in self-defense, and Lil J and Butter would both serve years behind bars. About a year ago, uh, we dropped a video on the boy Butter, man, um, you know, when him and Lil J was locked up. You know, Lil J pressed up on him with some dudes uh, and wanted him to change his story. Uh, it would seem that Butter made a witness statement uh, right after the death of his friend Phil Monrenzin. And that mixed with, I guess, with the, you know, the drug dealer guy uh, has said, you know, it really put Lil J and, and, and FBG Butter, man, it, it low key put him in the can. So, you know, Lil J was upset about that. He had some dudes run up on Butter while they was locked up, uh, fighting this murder of their friend. Because like I said, the drug dealer did not die. The drug dealer acted in self-defense, killed their friend, and then they were charged with their own friend's murder. If you outside doing dumb shit and you get caught doing a felony, and then a person dies as a result of that, they could charge you with murder. You you never had to have a weapon in your hand. I guess Butter, man, he was scared. Lil J ran up on him, tried to get him to change his statement. Instead, Lil Butter ran to the people and he did, you know, sign a cooperation agreement basically saying what happened, how he was intimidated. I think they moved him to a different block. And it ended up being the reason why Butter only did four years and the dude Lil J did like seven. After serving seven years in prison, King Lil J would burst back onto the music scene, thirsty for a certified stepper to become the next drill star. By the time King Lil J was released from prison, the drill scene had birthed a number of commercial stars, including Chief Keef, Lil Dirt, and King Von. And with the death of rising star and friend FBG Duck, Lil J upon his release was positioned to be the next up from the other side. When released from jail, Lil J would waste no time by quickly dropping his first single, First Day Clout, 
followed by Fatty on My Daddy and On Your Ass to millions of views from fans. Following his musical success, King Lil J would go on a run of interviews, which also garnered millions of views from fans, causing many drill fans to believe King J was finally about to blow up. When Lil J was locked up, like we had kind of skipped over, but when Lil J was locked up, you know what I'm saying, there was definitely rumors about, you know, bro PC and now or being in PC. Some people was calling him, you know what I'm saying, the king of PC. And, and you know, one thing about Cook County and most jails in PC, man, it's, you know, that's where, you know, the 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 transmissions and the, and the different types of people, the snitches and the people who are afraid that you know there may be other people in general population that want to do them harm that's where those people go so originally people were saying oh man the king Lil J snitch you know what i'm saying he in pc then it was other things coming out like i said about the transmissions and it was videos the videos recently came out but before the end when he was locked up it was just like a lot of rumors and a lot of people who was in the county heard stuff so when he came out um there were a few questions about that um, but you know, he kind of gl glazed over it, man. And, and most fans, you know what I'm saying? Most fans, although, you know, the rumor was, it was kind of heavy. Most fans didn't really pay it much mind. It wouldn't be until he got locked up again. And then you start hearing more stories. And then I believe there was a, 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 a young, uh, person who did an interview, uh, and came out and spoke on it And there was a lot of stuff that happened after he got locked back up the second time Which we'll get to But when he originally came home, man It was a rumor, man But it wasn't that big And, and, and I don't feel that, to be honest um, This video ain't really about that You know what I mean? Anybody wanna do what they wanna do, you can do it um, It ain't on me I do, you know what I'm saying? I do what I do It's not that But, you know, I'm not here to judge I don't believe that's actually what hurt his rap career. You know what I mean? I, I, to be honest, more than anything, I believe that's what's keeping his rap career alive. Without this crazy controversy, it wouldn't be many people talking about him. So I actually think it was a lot of his own doing that, that ruined his rap career, which, like I said, man, was very promising, man. You know what I'm saying? He was up there. He was one of the big names in Drill. And if he never would have... You know, as we get into it later, if he never would have did some of the things he did, man, he probably would be, you know, a big time guy right now. On July 14th, 2022, only three months after being released on parole, King Lil J would be arrested again, this time for the possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. At 7.14 a.m., Calumet City Police responded to a 911 call from a woman who stated a man wearing all gray was threatening her and her daughter and had a gun in his hand. When police arrived, McGraw was arrested after hearing about the violent incident in which he broke his girlfriend's jaw and pointed a handgun at her and her mother, threatening to kill them both. The handgun recovered by authorities was a Glock 9mm equipped with an auto switch that renders it fully automatic and was reportedly in the rapper's hand when law enforcement arrived. The state of Illinois would charge Lil J with seven felonies, including being an armed habitual criminal, unlawful use of a firearm slash machine gun, unlawful use of a weapon by a convicted felon, and domestic battery causing severe bodily harm. Having allegedly committed these crimes while on parole, the state of Illinois would find that Lil J violated his conditions of parole and he was taken back into the custody of the IDOC. While in custody of the IDOC, it is alleged that McGraw called the victim of the domestic abuse over 50 times. And in one recorded call, McGraw accurately guessed that the federal authorities would be interested in his case following his girlfriend and her mother being served with federal subpoenas for a grand jury. The U.S. attorney claims that during these phone calls, Lil J would urge his girlfriend to instruct her mother to change her story when she went in front of the grand jury. On January 18, 2023, a federal grand jury indicted Jeff McGraw for illegal possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. And on February 3rd, Lil J would appear before Magistrate Judge judge Kim for his initial hearing. On June 2nd, 2023, while housed in the Kankakee County Detention Center, King Lil J was involved in an altercation with another inmate in which he suffered a broken leg. While he was given emergency surgery to save his broken leg, prosecutors would use this altercation as further proof that he was no longer deemed fit to receive a bond, thus keeping the rapper locked up indefinitely while fighting his federal case. From rising drill star, to rapper reborn after a lengthy jail sentence. Having fought against allegations and enemies alike, 
King Lil J would see his rap career ruin, mostly through actions of his own doing. And with no one else to blame, King Lil J now sits in federal lockup, awaiting a federal trial, one he would likely have to plead out of, serving several more years of jail time in the process. Sadly, that is how King Lil J ruined his rap career. It's your boy MXL Guapo, man. Street certified news, man. Man, I wanna uh real quick just say, man, we don't condone, you know what I'm saying? No types of domestic violence, man. Um it from from what is alleged, um, it, it was a pretty serious uh situation. Um and although it seems that you know King Lil J is not, you know, he's not facing any domestic charges. He's only facing the handgun charge. And that's why we felt, you know what I'm saying, it was all right to tell this story. It's just an older dude speaking to a lot of the younger guys, man. Sometimes when you in them type of domestic situations, it's absolutely nothing you could do while being there to fix it. You literally have to leave. And man, you know, this dude King Lil J, man, you know, ho hopefully, you know what I'm saying? When he get back home, man, he, he'll know that because, you know, I think he do have a pretty big rap career. The whole transmission thing, you know, although it's funny um, and, you know, people have a lot of jokes about it. I believe it's actually keeping his rap career around. Um, without that, you know, he'll just be locked up and, you know, not very many people will, will be talking about him. So domestic violence, man, not it, man. It's not good for the woman. It's not good for the family. And it's definitely not good for the nigga who got to get locked up for some goofy shit. When you know, bro, could have been making money, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's your boy MXL Guapo, man. Street certified news, man. The most reputable source for urban news, man. Hey, y'all make sure y'all smack that like, man. Drop a comment, subscribe, man. Stay tuned, man, for more hood docs, man. Fuck with your boy, man. We out.